Well, here's my new painting in process. It's kind of coming together. It looks really interesting. I'm going to fill in the side, so uh, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. But um, I think it's going to be quite an interesting painting. Okay, so um, I've got my paints ready. Now, one of the key things about if you're doing a big painting like this is to prepare enough paint. Um, so, you, if you want to add more to it, like I'm doing today, you can do. If you then have to start remixing, you've got to get the colours right, the consistency right. So, as a general rule, I would recommend that you mix as much paint as you need. And also, uh, you know, if you've got some over, you can do something else with it, <laughs> which is really cool. So, I'm just going to be doing this little bit, and I'm looking at where I've got this nice pretty edge and what I'm actually going to do is put a little bit of water on that uh, with, my, with my water spray just so I keep the edges soft so when they run into each other it'll blend so I don't want too much paint now I've got the two different colour blues here the ultramarine and the cobalt blue so I'm just going to drop a little bit of this in and let it spread a little and you can see what it's doing and I'm going to help it a little by just tilting the canvas so can you see where it's moving into the wet where I've sprayed so it, it will stay kind of natural to what I've already done so I'm going to let it come down here a little I can control it pretty well you know to make sure that it looks fine and blends in with the rest of the picture now this is the darker blue so I'm going to drop a little bit of that in not too much and I'm going to help that around a little bit with the, the knife but you can see it's already beginning to spread a little and I get some interesting effects going on with it I'm going to put a bit of a spray just on the edge here so it can move to the edge. So you can see what's happening and that's kind of the paint doing its thing which is always so interesting and I'm going to just drop a bit more in there and I'm going to also put a bit of white in So it kind of keeps, now you can see what's happening, it's spreading around a little. And that's what I wanted to do basically. So I'm kind of dictating what's happening and how then it will just kind of flow together as part of the picture that I've already done. I'm going to move this around a little. Move the white into here a little bit more. So it's just very soft, gentle. I'm hardly touching the surface, so you can sort of see it moving. And then that will do its own thing for a little while. You know, I can just leave it now to move a little. Well, that's that side, which is which is great. Okay, so I'm going to leave that little bit, and then I'm going to turn it round and do the other side. Okay, so um, here I am with the other side. Now I'm going to re repeat really exactly the same thing, but with a little bit of a different colour mix. Again I've got them all prepared so I'm just going to spray this. You don't want to saturate it. A lot of people make the mistake of making it too wet and then it just literally all runs in together and becomes a bit muddy. So you don't want it to be too wet but you don't want it to be too uh, thick otherwise it won't run. Um, so just actually laying a a little bit of water on the top just helps the paint to move a little. 
And I'm really happy because I actually made this canvas myself, which I'm very proud of. But it's a really nice texture canvas. So it's absorbing and the, 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 the feel of it's really nice. So I'm quite chuffed about that. So I'm just going to put a bit of this blue in here. And I'm going to blend it with some of the darker blue, which is Prussian blue. Because I've got quite a lot of Prussian blue going on in there. So I'm going to just tilt that around a little and see what happens. It takes a little while for it just to blend itself together and see. And I feel that that blue is a little bit heavy so I'm actually going to spray on top of it and that will help spread it out a little. Not too much, again we don't want to saturate it and make it too wet. We just want to, you can see the nice patterns that it's going into itself. So we don't want too much going on, just fractionately. But the water just helps it to move in a really gentle way. So that's happening quite nicely. I'm going to drop a bit of blue. I'll actually do that on my knife. Just in here. Just a bit where it meets that edge. And then it's coming down. And I'm going to put a bit of the darker green in now. I didn't use on the other side. And just control it down. And I'm going to drop a bit of white in. Way. There we go. So it's really having fun now. <laughs> Move it over here, let it mingle. So Kind of, uh, I, I just go with it. I don't kind of have an idea of what it should be. I'm just kind of allowing it to, to move, just feeling into it really. I guess that would be the best way to describe it. So you can see how lovely it moves and the patterns that it makes and that it's not difficult to actually add to a painting. It's more difficult to take away from it, but it's um, not too difficult to add to it. When you want to take away, basically then you have to probably go over it with gesso, the white primer or black primer gesso, and then paint again over the top of that. But that's going to work out quite nicely, so I'm kind of feeling pleased with this now. It's sort of finished it off. I'm leaving the white bit at the top, and now when I think when we look at it once it's dry, we'll see that it's kind of a, just a very interesting sort of mountain range or explosion of some kind, volcanic energy. It's really, really kind of um, be left to your imagination. But it's exciting, that's what I love about doing this kind of thing, because it's exciting and it's, it's got so many natural elements to it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching that demonstration and I'll show you the finished thing as soon as it's dried.